All right, guys, so this is how Monaco works, you know? You got your music, you got your food, you got your kitchen, your table, you got your sink, you got your sofa, your chairs, DVD player, TV, two laptops. This is a studio. This is the Studio Central. All right. You got GoPros there. Got our whole bag over there. Everything's charged back in the corner over there. Oh, which reminds me. We got a there was a zombie battery on it here. Conveniently located by the toaster. And then we have we have base camp. Hey Bill, what's going on out there? Making some modifications before we get out there. Ah, oh, this guy's getting prepared. See, preparation is half the battle. Oh. Oh. Oh Jesus. Right. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Change normal from real to different rod. Oh, he's making real swaps. Whoa, this just got more serious than I even thought it was, folks. Look at that. Oh, boy. I don't know what's going to happen at Gunlock tonight, but you guys are in for a treat. It's on fire. We burned a lot of crap out today. But, yeah, here you go. Look at that. There it is. Base camp, water's best anglers. Hey, we have an address. It says 3367 on the side. Yeah, blue sign behind you. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe if somebody told me that, it'd be easier to find the damn GPS. I just make it up as I go. Make a couple reel switches, a couple rod switches. Just the, I don't know why. We, we better equipment with better equipment. That's how you got to do it. Anyway, so we're here now. Um, it's windy. We knew that, but there's nothing we can do about that. So we're here. Uh, it seems to be pretty busy. Hopefully that simmers down. Uh, we've we'll never seen that many trailers at the launch at one time, so that was kind of interesting. But uh, we've caught two big walleyes here a couple weeks ago. Um, We've seen muskies in the past, We've caught a lot of bass in the past, so we're going to see what kind of happens today. Um, I did bolt one muskie last time we were here, the little guy, but so we got one to, the, one to the name already. The wind is also a completely different direction than we're used to fishing. So, that being said, you might be put in some different scenic situations that we normally don't fish in. Um, we're going to get out there and see what we can do. He's yep. in here! Got him! Hello! Oh. 
false start off at holy Jesus get him get him get him get him get him sweet yeah it's in my boat the cricket strikes again it's really weedy here you got one there keep good tension on that I'm gonna save your bolt and one over the back of the bolt. Pounder <laughs> and that's a one pounder. That's not a one pounder. No, I don't think so. There we go. Yeah, better just so we don't lose anything. This is a bass, though. That. You can have that back. Look at that. I barely had him. Got one? Yep. Little guy. Right through them all. Oh, oh, there's one. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm seeing that. <laughs> it just takes you to cast that way. You gotta cast first. That's oh. fish. No. Oh. <laughs> he puts it back down. <laughs> it's okay, it's Jim. What's going on there? Bring that in. Holy rock bass. That's why I was pressing this one more. It felt funny. That's a nice rock bass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jim, where can uh where can somebody get one of those little uh minter tubes there? This? Swim bait? Nice rock bass. Okay, back in the water. The swim bait that I'm using here. Right here. Look at that. Gotta read the label. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> Put it in front of the, it in front of the camera. Who was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy is doing great though. As you can see, I've used a few. And then along with that, I'll be using Gamagatsu weighted hooks. <laughs> <laughs> and one more time, that's what? Gamagatsu. And where can you find those? Uh, Cabela's is a good store to go to. Because I could only find you know, not only are they these minnows. To go to, Jim. They're one of the sponsors of the show. They are? They are. Oh. Well, good. <laughs> He's like surprised. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. I, um... Barely 
really toss that. That's a fish. Probably because I didn't think I had them. So I don't know that I really hooked them. Well, he's, I mean, he's not huge, but it's a safety reason. Mm -hmm. we saw that one okay, he's here. Good news. Found a spinner that worked. If we just hit him on land, whoosh! I was replying into the people ahead. Oh, oh my god, look at all the ducks in the reeds there. Well, you, you better not just go willy nilly casting. Holy Got there. Got one? I do. Well, how about that? Jim showed up for the show. Hmm. Take a crappie over a blue gillian. Ow! Ow. <laughs> There we go. Oh boy. I think you got fish there. Wow. I need to go in there. Holy God. I need a picture. I can't take picture crappy off it. Keep him down. Well, it's okay. It'll be okay. What? Oh look, it's one of your little buddies. A little puddle jumper. Wow. <laughs> do it for uh, wherever the hell we are, Gunlock Lake. Uh, 18 fish was it? Yep, 18. So, you guys, we're sitting, we're sitting okay. Uh, stable position to say the least. Um, sorry about the shaky camera. Gunlock doesn't have a pier or any damn thing to help, you know, you launch a boat. So, um, but anywho, so we got 18 landed. I don't think there's any cars coming this direction. Um, we're, we're lit for, you know, camera audience right now, so a little difficult, but we're going to go to Upper Gresham in the morning. We did decide that, um, 
we're really gonna pull for a big number there uh, just to try to bounce back. We need like 68 more, yep. I believe it is. Mm -hmm. So we need 68, that's to tie the record too. That's not even to beat it, guys. Yeah. So we got three more trips. Two is really what we're gonna plan on because Sunday doesn't look good for the weather. Mm -hmm. However, if we are within 20 fish, you bet your ass we're gonna be out there, all right? We're gonna be out there. We're, we're out here to beat a record, nothing more. So, without further ado, we're gonna get home uh, hopefully safely um, and get all these damn lights off so that I can see and we'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, get the shit out of my face. <laughs> well, there is a road here. Who's on first? No, he's on second. Who? Yeah, he's on first. Who was on first? Right. No, who? He's on first baseman. Why? Now, he's right field. Well, who's on first? Right. No, who? Yeah, he's on first base. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's our third guy. I don't know who's on first. Exactly. No. Who plays first base? Correct. What do you mean? Well, see, now he's our center fielder. Uh, okay. Who plays first base? Yes. <laughs> and what's on second? I don't know. He's a third baseman. Who's pitching? No, who's on first? Tomorrow's pitching. <laughs> Hey. He's our catcher. Who's your catcher? No, who's on first? <laughs> Today's our catcher. Oh, I don't know anymore. What's that? I don't know anymore. No, he's on third. Who plays on third? No, who's on first? I don't know who's on third. Well, if you don't know, how am I supposed to know? I do know, I don't know. He's a third baseman. Who's the third baseman? No, who's the first baseman? Well, what about second base? Well, exactly, what's on second base? Now who plays second base? No, who plays first base? What's on second? Yeah, what's on second? Exactly. Oh, he's a third baseman.